got enough juice? Oh no. Gah! Stupid battery's dead again. I was gonna take the battle van for a quick rip before this video began, just because I feel like it needs to be driven. It's been sitting around for four years before I bought it. So, that, this, this poor thing, it just, want, it just wants to be loved. Today, we are working on the Mud Panda. We are going to be starting, and hopefully finishing, building a roof rack for it. Why are we building a roof rack, you might be asking. Number one, it looks cool. Number two, it's gonna help me practice welding. Number three, it's gonna give us a place to mount our light bars. Number four, it's going to give us a place to mount spare tires and some other stuff. Plus, we're gonna put like a ladder going up to it if we have enough metal. Yeah, it'll, just be, it'll just be cool. Pretty much just gonna be like a oval rectangle on top of that. We got lots of metal. We got 60 feet of metal. So let's get going, I guess. Simple math, so I'm not smarty -um. A lot of you guys suggested to put uh, sand in the pipe. Good idea, but how do you keep the sand in the pipe? Because it's just gonna roll out, right? I don't, I don't wanna stuff the entire pipe with sand. It's gonna be a lot of sand. What are those? I just wasted a ton of metal now. Ugh. All right, plan B, we're gonna have to cut them up into smaller pieces. Number one is done. We're gonna have one of these, and then we'll make like, you know, two or three inch little vertical parts, and then another one up top, then put bars across and bars up. So it's a little roof rack. It's, it's massive. Um, it's actually, oh, look at that. This is doubling as a bed. We've got a bed on top of our minivan. I'll tack this one up, and then I will build the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool down a little bit and then we'll test it on the van. If it's good, we will continue. If it isn't, then I'm gonna cry because we're out of metal. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good size. Oh, it fits perfectly. I like it. Also, a lot of you guys suggested to paint the initial D A86 scheme on the side of it. I think that was a pretty good idea. It's like a JDM minivan. Vote up there. Or no, it's vote up there. That's what it is. So now we have number one and number two. Something kind of like this. So now we're gonna make some posts off the bottom one that will raise this top one up a little bit. What I'm trying to do is kind of round off the end of the pipe, fits a little bit better, and then I can actually like weld around it and there's no gap. And it's not gonna be perfect, but I just want it to be decent. This is called notching a tube. Yes, that's what it's called, tube, tube notching. Not pipe notching, because this is a tube, not a pipe. You guys made it aware that I bought a pipe bender and not a tube bender, 
I didn't know there was a difference between a pipe and a tube. And since this stuff is so thin, the wall of it is very thin, um, that's why it gets dented really easily. So if I use a thicker walled tube, it should still work decently. I even have some on-demand cookies right here. Mmm, oh, so good. <laughs> Now we're gonna go ahead, weld these on, these beautifully notched tubes. They turned out really well. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm really happy with the way this thing's looking. I went ahead, welded that entire thing up. It went okay. Um, I, I couldn't get the right welding settings. I kept blowing through the metal, which means like it was, the weld was too hot and it just melted like a hole in the metal. I couldn't figure it out. I think I was starting to get the hang of it by the end, but uh, the welds aren't great. They're strong, but they're not great. What we're gonna do next is make a floor for it, essentially, mount it on the car, then pull it off and paint it. I actually had to put on sunscreen. Oh yeah, you can tell. I'm getting welder burn. This is not, this is not a sunburn. It's essentially a sunburn, but instead of being from the sun, it's, it's from the arc of the welder because it's as bright as the sun. So yeah, that was, that was starting to hurt, so I had to put some sunscreen on. Fabricating stuff, it's a love-hate relationship because it's really fun, it's really satisfying, it's challenging, but it's so exhausting, it's very difficult. And yeah, we're almost done. This is the finished product for what I could do with the price and my skills, I'm really happy with it. I wanted to do more bars, more of these thin bars going down, make it a little bit stronger, but those things were seven bucks a piece, and I was like, nah. I also kind of wanted to do those thin bars vertically around the entire thing, but that's also a lot of effort, and uh, I don't know, I don't think it's necessary. The light bars, we're gonna have two on either side and one in the front, and they take up the entire space. So the only spot that there's gonna be like space is in the back, and we're gonna have a ladder back there, so it's good. Here, oh, I'm just gonna do it like that. Yep, and then I'll go on the side. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and give this some nice flat black paint. Paint? Why did I say paint? Now, while I'm painting the roof rack, I'm gonna go ahead and start making a ladder. I want to have like a little ladder on this back hatch so we can use it to get on top of the roof, hang on it while off-roading. I don't know if we'll have quite enough metal, but we're gonna try. We got 10 feet, so we'll make a little five-foot ladder. First thing I'm gonna do, cut this in half. There we go, we got two five-foot sections. I think I'm gonna do a 90-degree bend at the end of one now, or at the end of both of them now. That's a little less than 90. Like that, and do like a 45. I decided to flip it around, do the 90 at top, then there's like a slight bend there, and then we're gonna do another 90 at the bottom. Oh yeah, 
I'm gonna cut the ends, obviously, so they're flush with the, the body. And I think I'm gonna trim them so it's a little bit closer to the body, but that's good. That's a nice little ladder. I'm gonna make a second one of these, then uh, cut some pipes to connect them. Boom. Number two is made. Kind of getting a hang of using the bender. It's still hard to get like exact angles because you just kind of have to eyeball it. I don't have the patience to keep taking it in and out of the machine. So I kind of just do it once and <laughs> say good enough. It's not perfect, but you know, it's whatever. Three spoke, what are, what are they called? Three uh, pegs, three pegs of a ladder. I don't know what they're called. Three things. anything first ladder I'm really happy with the way this all looks I think it's gonna look a lot better with the light bars on it it looks a little empty now but I, I'm still really happy with it I think it looks pretty sick what am I doing but yeah guys that is going to be it for today's video battle van gets oh sorry sorry mud panda gets a roof rack and a little ladder what's the point of the ladder there's no point actually it does make it really easy to get onto the roof rack I'm gonna take her for a quick rip just to drive her a little bit. She needs to be driven for a little thing. Oh, she drives so much better after just driving her a little bit. Like, she's not misfiring as much. Ah, she just needs some love. That's all she needs. I mean, she needs some more than just love, but mostly just love. She was getting a little warm. Gosh darn. What is it? What is it now? It actually looks like the line we replaced is fine. I can't tell where the leak is coming from. So that's just, this is great. <laughs> just great. Right when I was like, damn, this thing's driving pretty decent. It looks sick now. And then boom, another problem. Mud Panda, man. Can't even really call it the Mud Panda because it has yet to witness mud. So it keeps breaking. I'm assuming it's just some line somewhere has a hole in it. So I'll just replace it like I did the other line. Um, I'm hoping it's not like a head gasket issue or something. I think it's fine, but I don't know, maybe. Uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'm really happy with, with the way everything went. Um, welding's getting better, fabricating, it was pretty fun. It was exhausting and a lot of work, and now there's a lot of cleanup to do, but it was fun. I think this looks pretty sweet. I, uh... <laughs> I installed a door hinge because this, this hatch is kind of fucked up, but yeah, no, I, I really like the roof rack. It's pretty sick. I like this ladder. Kind of hard to get up on, but once you do, it's pretty sick. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy this video, please give it a dislike. Uh, tell me why. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I totally appreciate it. Hopefully next week is the week when we take this thing off-roading. As soon as I get the winch on there now, um, get the light bars on there, fix that coolant leak, hopefully for the last time. We're taking it off-roading, and we're gonna have fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow where we take the Rally Miata to an autocross event. That's gonna be fun. 
Uh, anyway, peace out, guys. I'll see you next time.